Hey, good morning, everybody. So, we got this little one here getting ready to get to school, and then we are heading to Faith Family Worship Center where we're going to be installing um, a multi camera PTZ system along with the Blackmagic Web Presenter HD and a bunch of other stuff. Um, some PTZ cameras, running some cable, going in the attic. Yay. <laughs> so, anyway, let me get her to school and then we're going to. Um, Get over there. You gonna say anything? Hi. No, you gotta say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, so we are here. We're gonna be installing everything here and they already got it all laid out for me, which I love. All right, so here's all the gear. We got a PoE switch. Looks like these are ceiling mounts. We got the three PTZ optics camera. We have the IP super controller have the wall mount the one that's gonna stick out from the wall got a bunch of cables um, I believe these are but well, these are cat 6 cables so I'm gonna have to do man I'm gonna have to go to a Lowe's or something because I need um, I don't think I have enough SDI crimpers for this but then we also have the Roland V60 that we're gonna connect to here and we're gonna use another out from here that's gonna go to the web presenter. So what I'm gonna do is let me mock up everything. I'm assuming that this is gonna be the TV for this. Um, I'm gonna mock up everything set up here to where I can make sure I can connect to these cameras to get an IP address and everything, configure the controller make it all work before I start hanging anything which is always a good thing to do alrighty we got these set up let's make sure we're getting anything on these that's the one yep pure power so we know these are good now I need to hook this up to a um, to get an IP address here so I need to find the main cable that's coming down and so that these will get an IP address assigned to each one of them. And then I need to pull out the other cable and hook up the remote and then configure those. So one step down and we're good to go. Now, one of these is going to be mounted right here. The arm is going to be sticking out from that column. And then the other one is going to be mounted right in front of that pole or maybe a little bit further. Um, there so that's the placement and we're gonna be going up in the attic up there so the idea is we're gonna pull these cable line it up and I got a conduit to put it flush all the way to back here and I actually have a grommet that I can punch a hole and see where we can get to there um, or I might do it on the wall it all depends on how much space yeah, we can't go any further because that's outside. Um, we need to figure out a way, maybe bring it up over this side some way. And then on the same thing, we're going to run it all the way across to come back there. But supposedly there's already cabling up here. Um, so I don't have to possibly pull it all the way there. I just need to go. And in here, this is just going to go straight up. So that will be easy. All right, so I got everything set up through the PoE switch, and now I'm just trying to run a scan so I can find what's the IP address for each. This one was detected, but I turned them all off because I want to try and isolate to see which one is this. Um, and I'm using advanced IP scanner to try and find out which one is which um, and to detect it. But I'm not getting anything right now, and it just finished the scan, so. <sighs> Alright, so I need to find out this. So I'm trying to figure out how to get into that. Hmm. Alright, let the investigation begin. Alright, so we got one down, and excuse the fact that I um, took my shirt off, and you're seeing my hairy shoulders. It's, there's a boiler here, and it is super hot inside the sanctuary. So, um, what we got so far, we got one of them mounted. And if I move over here, I have placed the conduit. 
there I need um, another strip to go all the way down to the end and then these cables are going to go inside of it. Then we have to tackle the attic and how to get the stuff over there. All right, we're all done. I need to put this little right angle cap right there, but everything is connected. I need to switch up there and hit the power button. But now we are going to make our trip. Actually, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and hang this other camera right here and then because that's easy i can i'm five five and i can reach that look i feel good i'm tall um, so i'm gonna reach that and then i'm gonna place a hole behind where the camera is to find out um how we can fish this upstairs so that's what i'm gonna do next all right we are wrapping up the last one i need to get my hammer um to hammer in the anchors into that wall and then we'll hang them out and then the last camera all right, so we got all of the cameras set up. As you can see, we got that one right there. Got the one in the back. And we got the one here. All of them are showing up on the multi-view back there. You can't see, I'll take you back when I'm done. But I am gearing up right now to head up in the attic, pull the cables, find out which direction we need to go, and yay. Alrighty, as you can see, we got one going here. I have the cable ran through the attic. Oh my gosh. So pretty much the way this is, I'm gonna have to get some more conduit and run this across the top and there's a hole there. Now, unfortunately, this was ran up in between the walls. And up here on this side, there's not enough space to do something similar. So I'm probably gonna have to run, similar to how you see the switch right here, I'm gonna have to do something similar with these cables. Cause they're, I mean, this is solid wall right here. I'm gonna have to drill up, then through brick, then up, and then climb over here. And that's just not feasible to do. So I'm gonna loop that up under here. Might even go through, I don't know. And then um, put a box close up to the wall here and then run it. So I could do a pass through here and then come through this side and then go straight up, something like that. All right, so for the most part, we got everything done. Um, it's one o'clock, I'm running short on time. I'm gonna head back to Lowe's because I need some more, maybe two more packs of this to hide the cable on this side. I've already punched a hole in the wall for the other PTZ. Um, it's gone all the way through. Then I just gotta go up in the attic and then over. Um, I need to get some, I should have enough conduit left over from what I'm buying now to fish that over. And then I need to put a box on the front side to hide it. And then another box on the other side to hide the punch through that I'm doing. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's to do that. Um, I already pretty much told um, the pastor here that I'm gonna get all the heavy stuff out of the way and then the technical I'm gonna have to come back and do because I'm running short on time. So um, I have a hard stop here at 3.30. So let's hurry up and get to the store and I can get back. All right, folks, we're in the home stretch, but I had a guest stop by. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, I'm James Hicks. I'm part of the technical team at Faith Family Worship Center. And I work with three other people, as I know them as Uncle Jason, Miss Barnes, and Mr. Misha. So how old are you, James? I'm 13, about to be 14. And that speaks for all those people that say you can't, you're too young or you're too old. It's all about willingness. That's what it's about. So uh, I am finishing up back here. I ran the cable through the wall and didn't pay attention to the fact I need to put it through the plate first. So I got to pull all that cable back through, push it back through, put the plate on there, do the plate on the other side, then go back in the attic. I already finished the conduit all the way on that side. So that's good. We need to get that up there. This is confirmed to be an HDMI cable issue or the splitter. So that's not me, because you can look at the other TVs and they are perfectly fine. So let me go ahead and wrap this up because I am on countdown mode. I'm 
mean, I can push it till five o'clock. I don't want to, but let's go ahead and get this stuff done. Alrighty, folks, a very productive day. We got all of the cam cameras ho hooked up, cables ran, everything is configured upstairs. I'm gonna have to come back because I didn't finish this little piece of conduit right there. Um, running out of time. Um, also, finish configuring everything to make sure that um, the workflow is the main thing left. Um, and then we didn't hook up the cannon here, but I'm assuming that it will work because it's, it's not really changing anything. Um, I think that was it. Very productive day. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will bring you back when we finish up everything. But like I said, everything working good. I had to reboot the PTZ in the back um, because they were still set to default and they were just talking to each other. So they were conflicting with each other. Had the remote in, do one at a time and put it on a network and then tie it to the um, remote control. We're gonna set presets for everything. So I got a little bit of cable to clean that up right there. Um, and most likely I didn't leave enough slack on this side. So I'm gonna have to pull down some slack um, from there so I can, I need maybe about four more inches over there so that cable will work. But besides that, we should be good to go. Let me pack up, put everything in the car and go pick my little one up. And that's about it. So, later.